Hi everybody, today I wanted to share a MAC haul that I purchased at the cosmetic company store. Uh, I have never seen a, a cosmetic company store until recently when I was in Round Rock, Texas. And they, the store is so cool, they have all kinds of products, you know, Estee Lauder, um, Bobbi Brown, MAC, Clinique, all kinds of cool stuff there, and most of it's um, discounted. And at first, I was kind of concerned because I didn't know if it was um, like fake Mac they were selling or fake products. But I looked into it a little bit, and it's a legit company. And um, so I bought a couple things when I was there. The only thing I purchased from Mac are have been their fa some foundation and their mineralized skin finish stuff. And I've never purchased any lipsticks or anything, and I was really excited about that because you know I've heard really good things. All right, so let's get started. Um, the first things I picked up were three eyeshadows, and it was hard to only stick to three because they had um, it wasn't a huge selection, but they had a lot of cool colors. The first color I picked up was Mulch, and I heard a couple people talk about this, and it's a really pretty. I have swatched all three here for you. It's a really pretty kind of um, oh bronzy color with like uh, gold specks. And it says it's a, oh, where does it say it? I should probably take these out before I, um, it's a velvet shadow. And it's just really, really pretty. And when it goes in the eye, it appears even darker than it does in a swatch. So I was really excited about that. The next one is so, so pretty. It's called Sumptuous Olive. It's this middle greenish bronzy color. And I like it that it's like a dual tone. And it's, absolutely gorgeous. And this one says it's a Velux Pearl. don't really know what that means, but it goes on really pretty. Um, and that's just one little swipe. Um, that's so pretty. I love this color. I had, a, I had a color like this a long time ago, and I don't know what happened to it or the name of it, but it's really it was really similar to this, so I was really excited. And these ones um, sold for about uh, ten dollars and fifty cents. So I think normal normally they're like what fourteen or fifteen dollars. So it's a couple dollars off. Which hey, a couple dollars is a couple dollars. And then the last one I was was the one I was most excited about. I'm a sucker for taupe or um, kind of metally like metalish colors. And this one is called mineralism. It's a luster. And it's this last one, which might be kind of hard to see. But it's this really pretty taupe, taupey, bronzy. Uh, I guess they're all kind of bronze, bronzy colors. But I absolutely love this. It is a little powdery, but who cares? Most shadows are, anyways. It's really, really gorgeous. So I was excited about those. And then the next things are all lipsticks. There's four of them. And the first one I was. I wasn't too sure because I wanted to get a red, but they didn't have Ruby Woo or any of the other ones that are super popular. And I haven't heard of this one, but I really love the color because it's not quite a um, a brick red or a cherry red. It's like an in-between kind of a mauvey brownish red. It's it's really pretty. It's called Red Dwarf, and it's a Pro Longwear Lip Cream. And I absolutely love the formula on these. These are really nice. Oh, it's kind of... It's like a berryish color. I can't, I can't describe it. A berry, a berry red. That's, that's a better description. The next one, I was really excited because this... I have a really hard time finding a neutral or um, a nude color that looks good on me without making me look like I'm dead. And this one, it looked really pretty when it was swatched on my hand, but it just doesn't do anything for me. It's a really pretty color, and I'm sure it looks great on a lot of people. It just doesn't do anything for my skin tone. So I'm probably going to pass it on. But this is a Japanese maple. It's a cream sheen lip lipstick. I'll swatch it. I mean, the color is really pretty. It looks like it'd be a nice pinky pinky nude color, and it just washes me out. But it's it's really beautiful. And I like the consistency of it. And on your lips, it just kind of, I don't know, it feels very nice. And these ones don't smell too bad. I, I usually don't like wearing lipsticks because it that old lady smell just really gets to me and I can't stand it. 
but these ones aren't bad. The next one is Soft Cell, and it's another Pro Longwear lip cream. And I love like pecan or mauve, mauve colors, and this one is beautiful. And I absolutely love that it's a long, long-lasting finish. Look at that, so pretty. It's like a pretty mauve. It's just like the perfect lip color. So you can go out and you don't feel like you're like, ooh, bright lips. So, I'm excited about this one. And this last one, I did not think was going to be a favorite. And it's the color I have on. It's kind of like a Nicki Minaj bright pinky purple. And it's called Dress It Up. It's another Pro Longwear lip cream. And I was really, really surprised that I liked this. Because, I mean, look at that. It looks totally unwearable. But I really like it. And I, was, I surprised myself. And it's like a pinky purple, like a bubblegum pinky purple. And look at that. Oh, it's so gorgeous. So, yep, that's what I picked up from the cosmetic company store. And I'm really happy with all of them, except for that Japanese maple. But, like I said, it's still a really pretty color. It would look good, look good on a lot of people. It just doesn't look that good on me. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Thank you so much. Bye.